Hello YouTube and welcome to Groundworks. This is episode 84 of the Interplanetary Voyage of Exploration. And in previous episode we have set up our uh, max range communication satellite that is intended to target our two exploration ships that are in the orbit around Lathe. Uh, so yes, I'm just checking if we do have the connection, which it seems that we do. And it's time to set up our dual communications network. As you guys are familiar, I'm using quad screens to do that. In the most of the screens, I will be actually uh, showing the satellites being deployed. You have seen me done this before, so it's nothing really strange here. Um, I must say all of them are exactly the same and all of them will be deployed in the same fashion. So uh, the only the bottom right uh, one will be actually deploying the station because of a design flaw that I think was happened to me earlier on and it was also plaguing our EVE ships. So as you see once I deploy from the station the whole bottom stage together with the probe disconnects. Why? I have no idea. But I decided to live with it probably because it was a design choice at some point. So what I will do is I will keep this station as is, probably higher orbit. And I'll just make sure that I'm communicating and relaying stuff. So I'm just making sure that my antennas are pointing at the various satellites. While uh, the rest of the probe I will use. And that one is actually the ScanSat probe. So that one is only different. The other three are the three communication satellites that should be deployed around late. So. Right. Okay, so as you can see, I'm pretty much just doing some adjustments. All of the satellites I'm positioning, well, more or less uh, around the same height. Uh, and uh, the station, I'm just trying to put equatorial as much as I can, although it will be a little bit higher orbit. Okay, so... I do apologize for some videos being like faster, but then again, three same satellites. I mean, if I had them in a single video, I would be repeating myself to the point of boredom. Uh, however, these satellites that you are seeing, I'm putting them actually at inclined orbit. So two of them will be in one inclination, the other one will be at the other inclination. So to ensure better coverage, I have gotten that from one of my commenters. I don't actually recall the name, but thanks a lot for that comment. It's very useful. So, yeah. Okay, and now as my satellites are being positioned, I'm also making sure that I'm burning with the station to secure a nice equatorial and circular orbit. And as all of my craft have deployed, I believe the reactor nuclear reactor is started and I'm also taking a look w at from the flight director perspective how does my telemetry look by the way guys uh, I've used this before this is like the probe control room I really like this mod kind of gives it a nice feeling okay so I believe our station it should be more or less set. Just doing some final checks. The other satellites are doing some final adjustments and let's see. Okay. And this is the one scan set probe that got detached with the bottom stage for some reason and I figured I've managed to get it detached from the bottom stage so I figured I might as well get it to explore other planets because why not 
So I figured the first one to visit we can do Val. Why not? Right? So it's our immediate neighbor and we can do some scan set. So why not? Just making sure to enable the communitrons and I'm pointing my communitrons at exploration to science ship and at lathe comms orbital and the comms orbital being the freshly deployed station. I have renamed it just for the sakes of being able to better understand what I'm actually doing. Okay. We will activate the communitrons and in one minute and 15 seconds we have our first burn. Okay, we are already burning. Perfect. And I'm just putting Val scan set. Just wanted to rename the vessel. Okay, and burning for the ejection to Val. So might as well, you know, go around and get some more science. Especially scanset science is appreciated. How much scanset science I'll get, I have no idea, but I do believe I do have some extra instrumentation on this specific probe, so I figured might as well, you know. Okay, and... This is supposed to happen in three days. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, by the way, since this is a ScanSat satellite, I do want to get it into the, well, highly inclined orbit of around, I believe, 750. I always mix them up with it's 750 or 250. I really suck at it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm thinking it's 750. Yeah, it's 750. I remember making the mistake of being at 250 at Duna, I believe. So, yeah, I'll st stick on 750. And let's see if we can put it in the in that orbit. It's 140 meters per second, so it's not a really a big burn, which is good because this one doesn't have much of a thrust. It's like basically ion thruster, which still packs a decent punch given the size. It's 2 point or 3 point something thrust weight, so might as well, I guess. Let's see pointing in the correct direction so we are maneuver prograde and okay perfect we have exited the late sphere of influence and we're going towards Val awesome so the next thing to happen is we should start doing stuff with our um, science uh, exploration ship the other one that is in the orbit around lathe so, with this one, I have decided to start opening my communication panels because Val, um, this Val probe needs it. For some reason, I wasn't able to bounce signal off from the other exploration ship, so I was using that one mainly. And, as you can see, my relay communication network is working just fine. Sometimes I lose connection, but... I'm still able to maintain a good and accurate uh, connection. So I'm pretty happy overall the way it's working. And for the most part, I do get reliable connection. Sometimes even remote tech can get fuzzy at times. So, yeah. But, I mean, I honestly didn't expect to use this scan set for anything. It was basically being there just so that my ship doesn't disassemble. 
So whatever ounce of science I can squeeze from it, I'll be more than grateful for. Cool, so let's burn it and hi Val. Let's see if we can map you. Gravity scan. I'm trying to transfer some science, although it's not a whole lot, but you know, every bit and piece counts, so why not? Okay, 62 meters per second burn. Yeah, and once we're actually done with these guys, I think the next thing that will be happening pretty soon, maybe not this this or the next episode after the Val encounter, we will be should be focusing on Arduino Aeroponics module, and pretty soon after that, our dual nuke probe transfer. So, a couple of things lined up, but for the time being. We focus on Val. Let's enjoy making a burn, or first let's enjoy seeing how we are closing up on Val. Julian system, like I mentioned in some of the previous episodes, is my favorite and I'm really enjoying the dance of the Julian moons. Okay, transferring sphere of influence in like 20 seconds, 5, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1. Perfect, and we can actually do the gravity scan. Just because we can, sure. So we have a p execution of the plan maneuver, and that will be actually a big burn. Five, some 500 meters per second. So, yeah. Let's see. Burning, burning, burning. Four fifty. It's a little bit of a longish burn, some 3 minutes and 15 seconds, but I guess we can enjoy the view of Val as it passes by. We haven't visited it before, so I guess we can actually... or did we? Maybe one of our nuke probes did a flyby. I cannot honestly recall because there has been, f for you guys, maybe it's a couple of days between the last episodes. For me, it has been well over like a month in terms of time between the recording of audios b in the last five s episodes. So, yeah, I was on a vacation and uh, over the New Year, so yeah, without much connection to the internet. So, yeah. The videos that I posted I was doing basically remotely. So yeah, okay, now we are closing our orbit around Val, which should provide us with a nice altitude for performing scansat maneuvers. And I'm pretty sure we can science the heck out of it. So why not? 110 meters per second. Like I said, a very, very slow burn, but still a very necessary one. And I believe we are captured in the orbit around Val. Definitely seems like it, just bringing down our apoapsis to a more manageable level. And by manageable, I mean 750, which should be ideal for the altimetry. And hopefully in 
in the future, I'm kind of hoping that we would be able to land a man mission. Okie dokie. Perfect. Great. So... And just that epoapsis fix the periapsis a little bit. So that it's around 750 by 750. Hold maneuver progress and execute maneuver as soon as possible. Because I want it to be more or less ideal. Execute the burn and 750 by 757. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm shutting down the engine and I'm starting the radar scan and yeah. Doing the altimetry sensor from the scan set. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Mm hmm. Okay, so trying to shift the focus here. Min minus Duna. Jewel Leva Talbo. Jeez. Okay, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> okay. So, I guess after looking after all, it wasn't 750, it was 250. Silly me. So, I've decided to execute the plan maneuver and just basically, you know, just do it. And then I realized, I believe, I actually made a mistake in terms of not activating the engine. I was trying to first figure out what the hell happened. And then I realized, okay, hold maneuver prograde, execute. Oh, I forgot to activate the engine. Beautiful. So, will you now please execute the maneuver? Let's see. And it started executing. Perfect. Okay. Then I, like I said, guys, I'm not actually the expert. I was pretty sure it was 750, but it's actually 250. So, I'm bringing my craft to around 250 by 250 orbit around Val. Perfect, and another one. I will have enough Delta V. Whether or not I'll have enough Delta V to go anywhere else, that remains to be debated, but I guess I can live with the fact that this probe stays around in the orbit of Val and doing the scan set. If we get a full map, train map, that's a result I'm more than happy to have. Okay, doing final adjustments and apparently we are already receiving some map data. Perfect. By the way, guys, we're closing on 20 minutes mark. I think thematically um, this will fit uh, this episode. I will call it now because I'm pretty sure the next thing that I want to be happening will be my Duna Aeroponics module, which I will be featuring in the next episode. Okay, um, that being said... Thank you very much for watching guys, like if you liked the episode and hit that subscribe button for more KSP content that should be coming soon. So let us 
finish up this burn before we sign off. Thank you again guys for watching and this is Groundforks signing off from the mission control.